Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Boulder Canyon. You can see that it has started raining. It started raining just as I logged into the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go racing up here like this and I'm going to start that one right there. He's going to keep working despite the fact that it's raining. I mean, yes, ordinarily you wouldn't really want to do too much on the field when it's actually raining because everything gets all clagged up and, um, yeah, it, it just generally causes problems. But we're going to chance it. We can see if we can actually keep this one going. Um, while that one is busy working there... I would like to sort this out down here. Now, we've got 7,600 litres of wool on that pallet there. All the others are full. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fast forward time now until that pallet becomes full. And then I am going to hook on that trailer and I'm going to move all of the wool out of the way. So I'm going to get that one up to at least 9,000. And then we shall see. So it's, it's not going to take very long. We're getting 300 litres per, like, 20, meet, uh, 20, min 20 metres, 20 minutes, I think. Something like that. Ish. Um, it's not very far off of that, is it? I tell you what, let's um, just slow it down again now. We'll keep it on five times. There's 8,900 in there. We know the others are all full. And I will jump into here. I had my new joystick turn up yesterday. Yesterday, fairly late. Now, I was having trouble with the other joystick. It wasn't really working, and it was causing me all sorts of problems. Um, so, I got another one. I got I got a replacement. I didn't buy a second-hand one this time. I bought a new one, and the Logitech Attack 3 that I had is no longer made, is he, um, so it, it was, wasn't really worth getting, because it's not made. Um, but what I got instead was a slight upgrade from that. It is, look, it's the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, which does actually look pretty cool, and it's got one feature that the last one didn't have, which is that you can twist the stick. Say, you, you can also twist the stick, right? It, the other, it, it's got the, the normal rotation on joystick, and it's got a selection of buttons over it, but you can also twist the stick as well. Now, I've not got it um, mapped to anything, and obviously when I jumped into the game, um, it automatically mapped it to stuff, and it was, like, I, when I stood, I was able to use the joystick to walk around and stuff like that. I didn't want to keep that. I decided not to keep it doing that. I've gone and mapped it all in. If I have something with an extending boom, then I'll now be able to use the twist to do sort of have more control over the boom coming in and out rather than just doing it on a button. And I thought that was actually a pretty cool thing. I did. No, you haven't. What do you mean you've complete... Oh... Oh, look at that. He's he's turned. There is a stump right here. There is a stump right here on this edge that he has missed. So I will go to there. We'll lower it down and we'll see what happens. Or is there a stump there? There is. Now he's going... He's, going, he's, he's, he's carrying on now to do the rest of the field. We'll see if he does anything daft in a minute. Because they do sometimes, they turn around and they do something daft, don't they? Um, I did remap this, so I don't know if the controls are right on this one. Well, that's right. Um, and that's right. Ah, look, see, I've got the twisty bit on that one. That's the twisty bit there. And then push the mouse forward and bring the mouse, uh, bring the joystick back. And then I did have it on a button to do the up and down, but now I've got it on the joystick to do the up and down. And I think that's actually pretty cool. It's going to maybe take me a, a little bit, but now all three actions are on the joystick, which I'm really liking. I, I'm, I'm liking that um, all three actions are on the joystick. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe... No, I think I, think I had that. I, that's how I had it before. Yeah. I had that bit before, like that. It was the up and down that I had on buttons previously, and then I had that on 
the joystick and I had that on the joystick. But now I've got uh, it good at all. So anyway, yeah. Um, upgrade on that one, which I'm, I'm quite pleased about. I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to pull out and then do something stupid. Why are you doing something stupid? And why are you coming this side? It's now coming over here. Backed all the way across the field. And... Now I'm even more confused. Why did he, like, drive halfway up? I, I don't know why he drove halfway up across the field. That that bit doesn't make any sense. All right, let's 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 back you up here. Let's, let's see what's going on here. There is definitely a stump here somewhere. Still in the ground. That is causing us some problems. So I'm going to start. Right, helper A has completed their task. No, you have not. So I know that there is a stump there somewhere, right near the edge of the field just there. And no, you haven't finished either. There's still a stump here somewhere. And that one will be underneath that spot right there. So we will leave it like that and then we'll let him go across the field and go and do what he's going to do. And hopefully we will be able to sort that out. Right. In the meantime, what I want to do is I want to start loading this one. And what lo uh, which button is to uh, you to start loading? Right. What am I loading? Large square bales. That's why it's wrong. Uh, I need round bales, mission pallets, egg boxes, cotton modules. Pallets is the one that I want. Then we can start loading. Oops, I'll do that. Um, and I will load those three pallets on there. Then we're going to go over this way. And I think we will slow time down in... Well, not quite yet. We will, when we go and put these pallets on, we will slow time down to just finish that off. Uh, you are 9 treble 4, so you're getting pretty close to done. I want to go up to this one. Okay, done all right at that end. I just want to see what's going to happen when he gets down to this end. We did have a stump in the middle of that bit there. I'm hoping we manage to get rid of that one. And then we know now that we've got two stumps over here. There's one at the end, and there's one underneath that patch that hasn't been cultivated. But what are you going to do over here? Are you going to finish doing the rest of the field, or are you going to want to mess around with this bit as well? So there's one under that bit that's ploughed, and there is one under this bit here, right on the very outside edge of the field. That bit that's on the very outside edge of the field isn't going to make a big lot of difference to anything that happens because we ma we normally manually go around the outside edge anyway even though we do have the hired help um, mode that is able to go and do that we normally just carry on and drive around the outside edge of the field regardless and you're away across the field now okay he's doing just fine and in which case we will come back over to here and then we will keep an eye on this so I want to go I want to speed time up again and I want to get that one up to the next stage there. I don't know if I... I will do one more. I will let one more lot go in. So that is... There we go. That's enough. Right. Now we'll slow it down to one time speed. And we will take all of these pallets off. So I'm still loading at the moment. So I want, I want to collect up all of these pallets. There. Like that. I've actually got two pallets that I can't load. That's not helpful. I wanted to be able to... Actually, it is helpful. We will be able to do this. We will be able to do this. i got my 12 pallets on here. What I do now is I will come over this way and I press B to put them there. And then I can get those six pallets at the front. They can just overlap this a little bit. If I bring them over here like this, they will overlap just the right. And there we go. That's going to be perfect. And I bring them up to there. We want to go forward a little bit and then Y like that. And 
It might not be quite perfect. I'm going to leave that one there. And then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to bring this round here like this. And I'm going to nudge them back in a bit because that is not... quite in where I want it to be. They've got, they've got to go further back. We know that eight pallets don't fit across there like that. We know that that doesn't actually fit. So I'll just bring that one up a little bit. And then I will shove them back that way. So that I've got all six of them right across the thing there. And then I can put time back onto... I'm going to go right back up to fast again. Just to make sure that those six are now where they're supposed to be. Yes, right. They're now where they're supposed to be. So we'll put it on about 30 times speed and I will then go and get a bucket on so that we can clean up these animals here. That one up there. Oh, he's gone and done some more turning around where he shouldn't have done, I think. Uh, yes, there is still a tree stump over there that we haven't picked up. I think I'm going to need to actually just dig down a little bit to free these tree stumps up. I don't think I'm going to actually be able to uncover them properly. You keep going. I'd like you to keep going. I've got a tree stump there somewhere that I am unable to do anything about. What are you going to do here? Are you going to stop again? Right. That's interesting that he's decided to stop again. Helper H has completed their task. Go on a bit further. Right. Somewhere in there, I have got a tree stump. Okay. I've got stuff. I, I need to clean up these sheep. I need to do some work clean up these sheep. But I'm thinking I'm going to leave that for a minute. And what I'm going to do... Because I'm going to pick that one up like that. And you are going to run a stump grinder. I know that you're not the best tractor for running the stump grinder. But you can do it. That one can keep doing the cultivating up over there. Which is excellent. And then I will be able to find out roughly. If we can get any of these tree stumps. So these two over this side. I'm going to leave them for a minute. I want It's this one over here in the middle. That I would consider to be the most important one. The most urgent one that we've got to get rid of. Alright, there is one here somewhere. This is the most important one that's got to be gotten rid of. If I can take that one out, I'll be making some good progress. That tractor there is just going to keep pressing forward by the look of it. But yeah, he's fine. He can do that. Uh, so I will switch over to him second and... Is he going to get past that fence? He is. Look at that. Right. Well, he will keep working that little bit there. And there doesn't appear to be any other tree stump. So what I want to do is I want to lower that one down like that. And I'm going to raise it up slightly like that. Unfortunately, by doing both of these... Um, by having the, the loader arm. He's also operating the loader arm when I'm using the mouse. Help it F is blocked by an object. Right, that means there's another tree stump down over there somewhere. These stumps are really irritating. I might end up uh, trying to make the stump grinder, like, it, it, make it a bit bigger on the settings that I got on it. I don't know if there is anything else I can do to it. I've got it pretty much as big as you can get the thing. Going backwards does work with the stump grinder. So I'm going, I'm going plenty slow enough to get that one to work. And if he's not pulling it out with that, then there's obviously something else going on here. Well, and I say there's obviously something else going on here. There may not necessarily be something else going on here. Let's try that again. Back you all the way up. Like that. Right. So far, I've seen no indication of anything resembling a tree stump in that little bit right there. 
which is frustrating to say the least. So let's pick that one up and bring it over this way. And we'll see if we can find anything down over here. It is now five o'clock in the evening. Okay, so there is still a tree stump over on that bit as well. We've got tree stumps coming out of our ears here. I've got to be able to find them. I might end up doing this off camera, just um, editing and... Well, I can't ed you can't edit the map to get rid of them. It doesn't quite work like that. I have to... I'll have to use the landscaping um, and do it... Just do it off camera and then set the money back to what it is now. It's about the only way that you can do it. Right, that's got a them up a little bit. There. Got to be something here. Right, there is absolute, there has got to be something here somewhere that is causing it to do this. There's got to be a stump under there somewhere. How deep down it goes, I don't really know. Uh... I'm struggling to pull that up the hill. You know what? I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. What we're going to do is I'm just going to bring that one down there. And I will remember the money. Right? This, this obviously is not going to work like this. Right? This, this, this isn't going to work. We're going to be here forever and a day trying to do this. So you are not going to reverse back any further. So I will bring you down over to this bit. We've got three stumps that we know of. Uh, four stumps, actually, because we got one down here. I haven't had any others come up anywhere else. So we managed to get rid of most of them, but we do have a couple here. So you, right there, you will go through. Okay, that's fine. That one's not shown up anything. I'll let him turn round. And while that one does the rest of the little bit there that I need it to do, we're going to go over to here, and I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to do this. Right? Because this is absolutely ridiculous, and I don't want to spend ages and ages um, messing around with it. If there's one there on the outside edge, that doesn't matter, but there is one up here, and this is the bit that does really irritate me, the fact that there's one here. So I'm going to bring that down like that, small brush, and then I'm going to dig down. And we're going to find this tree stump, wherever it might be. There is one here somewhere, we know. How deep is this thing? There it is. No wonder I wasn't finding it. It's right off to the side. Okay, so I found that one. I will now be able to get rid of it. That means that this one could be over here. Because I could have actually started work on top of it. Alright, let's give that a chance a minute. Let's give that a chance. Let's, um... I'll unhitch this because it's faster to do it with the other tractor. Uh, I had about $80,000 on there to start with, didn't I? If I don't have to spend too much putting it right, then maybe we won't worry about the money on it. Um, let's switch over to you. Now, what are you doing? Right, you know what? I don't actually care. So, um, let's bring you down over here. I want to get that stump grinder on, and I want to hurry up and finish this. So, you can go there. Let's go up around here. All right, we've, we've done the realism bit. We've done everything we can to get the stumps out. Now we're fighting against actual game mechanics, and... Um, that's something that always irritates. But then anybody that's ever watched this series for a length of time knows that when I... You know, the realism bit is fine, but as soon as i got to start fighting against game mechanics, that's when I start to um, get short-tempered with it. <laughs> I start to get fed up with it. So, um, yeah, now we're fighting game mechanics. I despise having to fight game mechanics. I truly, truly despise having to fight game mechanics. And anything like this, it's just abs absolutely, utterly ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to drop that one down there, because that's... A little bit further back, but it looks like that it started work after, like, when the thing was on top of the tree stump. Going from the other bit. Okay, I'll bring that up. We didn't get anything on there. I will just try that over on the edge over this side. See what it brings up. And then we'll move over a tractor's width to the other side. 
see what we can find over there. Okay, nothing coming up there. And I'll move over here. And i got to go up that one. See if anything shows up. If not... Right, nothing's showing up there. I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to do a pass over this side. A little bit further over than I did just now. Right. Now let it come down slowly. Give it a chance. Okay, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. We're done. We're going over here. We're going to get rid of this stump. And then we've got to restore the ground. Which means I've then got to go and plough it over again. Which really irritates me. I shouldn't have to do that. But that is nowhere near where the bit was saying that it was. Right? That is that is way off of where we were hunting. Um, anyway. Stump gone. Look at that. Instant. Just like that. And it's finished. There is the problem solved. No more problem. I suppose if you know, there, there's a chance that it's lower down because of the angle of the field. Is that what it is, maybe? Down over here. I don't imagine it's this far down. Alright, no, there's, there's nothing showing up in there. There's nothing coming up here. Right, you sit over there a minute. And then we'll go in here, we will start landscaping, and I will bring that one into there. So, it's, oops, wrong way. Somewhere in here, there it is. It's up over there. I drove over that! I drove over you! Seriously? I drove over you, what is wrong with you? And this here, what's going on with this? Right, what's, what's going on here? Well, there's... They're in actually a tree stump here. That's got to be something to do with that one, then. What a mess of this field. I hate this. I hate having to do this. This, this, is, this is wrong. There it is down there. Right, okay. I've got those two there. So then we will lift that one up. We will go and get that tree stump. Then we've got to restore the field. We've got to put that back exactly how it was. And then we've got to get the plow out, and we've got to go over it with the plow, and we, we've got a lot of messing around that we shouldn't have to do. Right? All because game mechanics. Game mechanics not quite working properly. That's how it's, it really does irritate me. It really does irritate me. Game mechanics. Why do we have to be fighting against game mechanics? We shouldn't have to do that. Right, let's bring you back over here. They should have a stump grinder in the game that actually gets rid of the stumps. Right, I've had to edit this one myself to get rid of stumps, and it doesn't work properly. Clearly, it doesn't work properly. Right, otherwise it would have actually worked on this. But clearly it is not. And that is not even close. Look at it. What am I supposed to do with that? Go into here, and I'm going to have to landscape that bit again. Like this. Right, I, I've got... Clearly that is not how the game should be working. Right? Quite clearly that is not how the game should be working. So why not, when you make this game, Mr. Giants, people at Giants, when you make this game, can you please make sure that we have stump grinders that work properly? Right? There's no... You know the game mechanic works like this, so don't make your stump grinders so that they're not physically capable of removing everything properly like they should be able to, right? That is a bad game mechanic. Now then, okay. Gotten over that, sort of. No, I haven't. Not even close. I'm not even close to being over that, but, oops, no, I don't want to do that. I need to... Now i got to do this, which means I've got to do a huge, great big area of it. I'm going to have to increase the brush strength right up. There we go, right, we've got a strong brush on here now. And then I got to smooth out this patch here. Right, which means that I gotta go over a big area and I gotta plow it all up again so that we can correct this because of bad game mechanics. That's just cost me ten grand. Right? Bad game mechanics. There's no two ways about this. 
I mean, yes, the, the map itself has got a couple of issues. But if the bad game mechanics weren't there to start with, then the couple of issues that the map has got wouldn't really be so much of an issue. And now I've got a bare patch of grass over on this side, which is going to really irritate me. Um, I, well, I suppose we can, live around, we, we can live with that bit. That bit is maybe not quite so bad. Right. Let's try and smooth this down. There we go. Just bring that down a little bit like that. There. So that it's working down a hill. There. Look, see, it's, it's just pressing it all down. There we go. That's better. Right. Keep doing that. It's raising it up a little bit in places, but for the most part, that's all right. And then I've got you down here as well. Got the other tree stump here, so I need to do a big patch around this one so that I can correct. Fortunately, you know, at least we do have the tools that we are able to correct this in-game, because if we didn't have these tools, then we would just be stuck, as we were in FS17, with invisible stumps and unable to do anything about them whatsoever. That was a worse situation, so we've at least improved a little bit. Right, there's that bit there. That's had to be done. Um, we'll say that these were some massive great big boulders in the field that got turned up during ploughing, and then they had to be dug out. And this is something that would happen. I think we've um, used that excuse before, but it is something that's has, that does have to be done. When you're reclaiming new land, you do sometimes come across things that you, don't re you, you weren't expecting. Um, and... They're there, we've had to deal with it, and now we can move on. So I've got to remark out the field just here. We haven't got a great deal of field that's got to be done, so we're going to be able to get through this bit pretty quickly. I'll bring you down here, and you can stop there. And then I will go and get that plow. We get that one going, and I can just do a quick run up through. Allow create fields. I'm doing the creating of the fields with the plow so I don't have to go over it afterwards to remove the plowing requirement on it. I'm just going to do it like this. So I'm going to bring you to there like that. Allow create fields and lower you down there. And then I just want to run this one up here to sort of tie in with the edge of that bit right there. I'm not going to worry about cultivating it afterwards. We've already done cultivating. Um, so, no, we're not going to mess around with that. So, there I've got the edge of the new bit of the field. Now, we'll bring you down here. If you could stop sliding on down the hill there. That would be just grand. And then we can run you down through this way like this. Uh... Probably faster if I do work up and down the hill, I think. Rather than trying to um, go side to side, I think it will be faster just running up and down the hill. But I'll also just do the reverse bit. Rather than try and turn round, it will be faster if I just reverse up each time. I could set the... Um, what do you call going, couldn't I? You know what the what do you call is. Yeah, if I do that, and I bring that over to there, like that, we can use the Waddy Call. So let's use the... We'll, we'll do that. I will turn on the GPS. That's the, the other name for the Waddy Call. It's it's um, sometimes known as GPS, sometimes known as a, as a Waddy Call. Uh, so I will lower that down there, and then Alt-E twice, like that, and then I bring that on down a little bit further so that I've got my... Outside edge marked, and then do that again, and then Control S to bring you in here and auto width that bad boy like that. Um, bring it down a little bit and escape. Right, perfect. There. So now I've got GPS working on this as well. That should speed things up a little bit for us. Then I can bring you in onto that one like that and. Run back up, well, and it should keep me on that line, even as I reverse up. Yes, that's working quite well, actually. Right, we should be able to get this bit done pretty quickly. 
Um, and then we've just got one little patch to do over there, which again should be done fairly quickly. It's not going to take very long to do that. And then I can run back up and keep that one running on there. Like that. Lower you down. Yeah, he did do it. I was wondering whether I'd quite managed to get that down into the ground in time, but I have. And ploughing downhill does allow us to make use of gravity as well. So um, it, it does sort of just speed it up ever so slightly up there. On with the next one. Like that. Hopefully the tractor does seem pretty good at being able to straighten itself up even with the um, GPS going. Like it, it sort of struggles sometimes, I think, going backwards. It doesn't quite line it up as well as it would if it was going when it goes forwards. For whatever reason, I'm not quite sure why it does that. But um, yeah, it's, it's not really slowed it up though, has it? And then out again. Back over onto this one, like that, and then Alt X. Up we go. I'll certainly get this little patch finished, and then in our next episode, we've got the other little patch just to finish. I, that's cost me about 20,000. Well, it's cost me 18,000 to do that, to get rid of the great big rocks in the field. So I'm not going to be recording again until next week. So you will be able to comment on this one before I do another recording session on this map. Do you think I should leave that 18,000 off of our money? Because it does sometimes happen when you're creating a new field. When, you, when you're doing a new field from nothing, like we have, we've carved this out of the wilderness. We've dug up, a, we, you know, we, we've dug up all the stumps. We had to get rid of the trees and everything. You know, and we can say that that wasn't stumps that we were digging out. We can quite happily say that that was actually... Um, three massive great big rocks that got turned up while we were doing the ploughing. Right, The plough struck the rocks, they were too near the surface, we missed them when we were um, first removing the trees and that, but then they did show up and so we've had to go and remove them later on um, and it's cost us 18,000 to get those removed from the field. Does that fit for you? Is that something that fits for you? It, it does actually fit for me. Um, you know, it's, it's not a cheap thing having to go and do something like that. Even if you use your own machinery, it still takes a lot of time to get those stones out of the ground. It, it's, it's quite a big operation to remove something like that. Um, so get into the comment section and tell me, do you think that that was a good thing? That we should have those left in there or we shouldn't have them left in there. Um, I'd like to know what you think and then I will act on that ready for next week. Now, we have ploughed this. We've got a slight dip in the ground right there, and there's possibly a little bit of a dip over there that could interfere with the combine a little bit. I'm hoping it's not going to cause us any problems. We will have to wait and see. We've got one little patch over here that does, again, it's got a little bit of a dip in the middle of it, but I'm hoping that it won't actually cause any problems with the combine. But I've run out of time for today's episode, so we will have to finish off this little bit of ploughing in the next one, and then we can sleep the night and we can start our combining bright and fresh in the morning as well. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.